polystyrene has been used for decades as a packaging material for dairy products, such as yogurt. The empty yogurt pot is then normally disposed with other packaging materials, which in Germany is the yellow bin or bag. The yellow bags are then collected and delivered to a sorting center, where the bags are opened and the contents are sorted into many valuable fractions for recycling. After a few initial sorting steps, in which metals, fine cardboard and paper, glass as well as films are removed, the remaining plastic fractions, including polystyrene packaging, land on a conveyor belt and enter a near-infrared sorting unit programmed to specifically identify polystyrene. In the sorting center, these polystyrene fractions are collected in bales. The concentration of polystyrene packaging items in these bales is around 94%, which underlines the high effectiveness of the near-infrared sensor technology. In a subsequent step, the solid polystyrene is separated from foamed polystyrene. Here too, near-infrared technology is key to achieving 98% separation of solid packaging parts from polystyrene foam. These solid fractions, which were formerly polystyrene yogurt cups, are ground into smaller pieces, or flakes, which are then transported to a hot washing section with a caustic soda solution. During this process, labels and colors on the outside, as well as food leftovers on the inside, are removed. The flakes are thoroughly rinsed with hot water and then enter into a dryer and an air classifier. After this step, the purity of the polystyrene content is 96%. Near-infrared and high-speed camera technology are the key technologies used for the final sorting step, which takes place in a flake sorter programmed to sort out any remaining non-solid polystyrene and all non-white polystyrene flakes. At the end of the process, recycled polystyrene achieves 99.9% .9 plus purity. The high-purity polystyrene flakes then pass through a metal detector before entering the extruder. In the extruder, the flakes are heated and resulting melt undergoes a degassing step and a melt filtration. Subsequently, the polystyrene is pelletized in an underwater pelletizer. In a standard extruder used to produce polystyrene sheets, these recycled polystyrene pellets behave identically to virgin polystyrene. Processing parameters are unchanged, and the high surface quality stays the same. In the subsequent thermoforming step, the result is the same. Process-wise, there is no difference compared to non-recycled polystyrene. The final product, here the lid of a coffee cup, for instance, passes the same quality tests as lids made from virgin polystyrene. The color is slightly grayish due to the fact that yogurt pots from different dairy manufacturers have different white colors.